Hey, queens and kings. Wow, it's been a minute since I've done this here. But anyway, let's jump right into it. So I got all these items here in this first DIY from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree had these different stages of um, tea lights candle holders. Now, did I get these, um, what are them things called? Knobs from the Dollar Tree. They actually came from Home Goods out of package or whatever. But these little tea light candles holder here are different stages. Different stages. Girl, Val, it have, you is rusty. You are rusty. But, um different heights and they are a little bit thicker than what the usual ones are so i'm going to use dollar tree clear bowls here y'all know these bowls are famous amos and honey everybody and their mama got these bowls here if you don't you better go get you some because they're very affordable but anyways i'm going to glue some knobs on top of them because i'm making these little z gallery cloach that they that they have um i've been wanting to do these for a while now 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 let me do tell you guys something this is just for video purpose of me using this gorilla hot glue sticks use some strong adhesive like e6000 or something like that so therefore this does not fall apart on you later down the line now you see how i was able to pick the top up with the handle that's because the glue just got on there and it was hot like that but probably about three weeks from now i wouldn't be able to do this so but anyway so i decided to do two different heights one tall and one short and pretty much repeat the same thing over and over you do as many you like so here it is in my bathroom as you all see i have like some Epsom salt some um bath bombs balls or whatever you want to call it something simple now you can style this as much the way you want to you can put treats in it you can put um type of anything you pretty much want them you can make them catch all it's all up to you but i have them in my bathroom right now you know so therefore it could go with more of like a little spa vibe that i'm pretty much trying to go for in there but yeah so this is diy number one now this one here is a bath tray now i've been wanting to do this for the longest this has been in the back of my mind to do for the longest i got some dollar tree um cutting boards there when they had them cutter boards, I don't had this in my stash for a minute, as well as this little ugly beat up mirror that I had in my stash from where I did other mirror DIYs products. Now, this is how rusty I have gotten. You see how I have this here? This is a no no. What I should have done was flip the mirror over upside down and glue each one of the cutting boards on the individually because they're about to show you right now what's about to happen. Just wait for it. Just wait for it boom see how they did not stick on there and it actually pulled some of the backing up off the mirror to the point it give um a damaged look to it and see they not even or anything like that so do not do not do this do not do this flip the mirror over upside down then glue the the cutting boards on an individual see how i rip part of the mirror off so you have this little ugly look now i have to figure out how i'm gonna actually fix that that right there yeah but anywho, we got some of this glass cleaning from Walmart, and we're going to clean all that. Ooh, look how pretty that came. Just that quick. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. But anyways, I'm also going to move along, and we're going to use some of these little a sticky adhesive little, what are these? These things, these little dots here. Um, These little foam pads. Fat. I don't know. Honey, I am so rusty at this. Oh, my God, Val. Jesus Christ, girl. You got to get but anyway we put those up on the bottom so therefore we don't have to scratch the surface or anything like it'd be a smooth finish or whatever that's pretty much what i put them up under i still can't think of the name of those little pads i'm quite sure one of you queens or kings is telling me in the comments but anywho i have some of this um self adhesive bling from amazon i had this for a while in my stash too as well I was like, well, you got to get rid of some of this stuff because it don't make no sense. It's just sitting up there. But anyways, I'm going to just cut them down to size. I was going to just glue the whole script cross, but it was like, why? When there's actually gaps in between. So I'm just going to do piece by piece all the way around till I fill up the whole entire thing. So therefore, you don't see none of the cutting board.
So as you all can see, we got all of it done. And look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. I love this little bling here. And I can use this all day long because look at that. Look at, look at how pretty it is. Just flashes, sparkles, and it just it's just beautiful. And it's also affordable. So anyway, so now I'm going to move on to that little ugly spot there where I'm trying to hide. Remember, I said this is actually going to be a bath tray. Now, it's not now that it's adjustable, as you all can see, but it's going to do what it needs to do for me. So what I'm doing here is getting these little um towel blocks that i got from the dollar tree as well out of the toy section and i'm gluing those together this is basically where my phone is pretty much gonna rest at if i need to watch me some tv while i'm in the bathtub or you know tablet or whatever you need to put there to just prop it up so therefore you ain't got to worry about sitting on top of it that is all up to you i had to come up with something a little genius but not genius enough to cover up that ugly ducky spot because it really messed me up so yeah i'm really rusty to this but as you all can see i'm also using some more of that bling wrap and scripts and covered up the blocks and now what i'm going to do is use the dollar tree um, self-adhesive once again clean some more of the fingerprints and everything off the spider wells uh, from the glue sticks and all and basically just line it up try to figure out how far apart i'm eyeballing it but i'm using my phone as you all can see too as well to actually help me to figure out where i need to put it at you know yeah so it worked better the long way other than vertical as you all see but anyways i'm going to place some um like i said once again dollar tree self-adhesive glue on there because i want this to pretty much stay and also using some hot glue stick so therefore it can hold it in place until the glue actually dries completely up now i will i would say let this sit to the side at least probably about a day or two so therefore you can make sure that glue is completely dry and set something on top of it so you know that it actually sticking to the mirror now here is another beautiful piece as you all can see I just style it for you all, and I love the way that my tray turned out. Beautiful, right? Gorgeous. Now, look at that. See the phone sitting under? Just fine. Just fine. Now, let's move on to another DIY. Now, this DIY is not a creation by me. I've seen another queen on here did it, and I want to say her name is Sophie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she did this a while back. Um, so, as you all can see, uh, pretty much catch on. A lot of the DIYs that I'm doing is actually for my master bathroom. And if you guys want to see a complete look high style with all these items in my bathroom, check out my second channel, which is Queen Val Living. Now, this little night light actually came from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm basically trying to push out the insert part of the hard plastic in the paper that's in there. Now, it was a little difficult for me to do, child. You see, I had to cut the camera. Child, it was magic. It was YouTube magic. But anyways, now you can keep that little clear part and you don't even have to do this step that I'm doing, what I'm about to do, what I seen that she did. So I took it outside and I spray painted it gray, silver, or whatever you want to call it. But you see the little clear piece there? You can put that back in there and you can actually just glue some of these crystals on there. You know the little scatter look like that I probably have in my bathroom. I don't see um, that I did some candles holders before walls comes. I probably insert a picture so I give you guys a little idea of what I'm talking about. You don't have to do this little crystal look, but I wanted to do it because I wanted to match my um, chandelier that in my bathroom that I'll be showing you guys pretty soon. So I'm using some garland crystals that I got from Amazon that I don't have for a while. Um, I will leave the link down below so you guys can check it out. So anything that I got from Amazon and feel like that you guys can use, you guys will be able to check it out down below. All right, Queens and Kings. So pretty much what I'm doing here is basically measuring how many jump rings as well as crystals that I need to detach from the rest of the crystal to glue onto the light switch or plate i should say so here in the little grooving of the plate where the little clear part and paper was sitting at when we first began this this diy that's pretty much where i'm gluing the crystals at nothing major just using some hot glue i'm gonna glue it to the top of the groove and to the bottom of the groove and i'm gonna do that all the way around to actually give me a complete full look i think i'm gonna do like probably about five links or six links so give you guys pretty much a good idea of what i'm doing here so crystals to the top crystal to the bottom so i had to get something a little background so you guys could see a little bit better because i was like Val, this is horrible at this point now this is hard but i gotta keep going because i started why not 
but yeah so you guys can see i'm a little rusty now yeah i'm a little rusty now but anyways yeah so we're gonna continue doing that until we actually fill it up All right, queens and kings, so here it is, the little night switch, and I could have it in the bathroom. I ain't got to worry about flicking no light on or whenever Andre get up to go use the bathroom or anything. This does the job. Does it perfect. Something simple and cute. All right, so I want to show you guys a pretty much an overview of my bathroom and what I did to give it a facelift. Once again, check out my second channel, Queen Valley Living, to see the entire full look that I did to my bathroom. So we're going to start off with these mirrors here that I got from Hobby Lobby a while back. Or Michaels, no, Michaels a while back. And this mirror paper that I purchased from Amazon that will be linked down below. Now we're going to get this combination of it make it look like a real mirror glass vanity. And now what I'm going to do is basically put this um, contact paper all over my vanity, as you all can see that I have already done. Don't ask me where the clip's at, because I really don't even know. Not even on my second channel. I tried my best. Some kind of way, I lost some. But anyways, it's contact paper. In the same way you put contact paper on top of a counter or refrigerator or whatever, a box, you do the same thing there. So here I'm basically just putting my um cabinet doors back on, because I did take the hardware off and spray paint it. Now you see that little gap there? I decided not to put no paper there because you know why? I'm going to use command scripts to put those mirrors directly face on there. And because I had ran out of paper anyway, so I had to improvise. But this made a big impact because it actually gave the whole vanity like a mirror effect. Like it was fully mirror. Like it was, it's, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. You have to check it out. You have to check my bathroom out. So go subscribe to my second channel. Once again, Queen Val Living. All right, queens and kings, so here is my vanity in my bathroom, and I love it. Like, this is so gorgeous. You see, I have put some knobs on there. I have this motion light and everything up under there. So, I just love the way how my vanity turned out in the bathroom. Like I said, the mirrors give it more of that real effect, more of a real mirror vanity. So, what do you queens and kings think? All right, Queens and King, moving on to the last and final DIY, which I had done this once before in the old apartment. Um, but I want to show it again because I know we have some new Queens and Kings and I did something a little bit different. So these are actually curtain rods holder that I got from Ikea. And as you all can see, they have a short end, they have a long end. And what I'm going to do is actually screw these on each side of the vanity light in the bathroom that you guys seen as in as in like i'm gonna hang up a curtain but i'm gonna actually do it the long way we're gonna put this short end here to the back where we're gonna screw the, the screws through those holes there and put the attachment that holds the curtain rod up to the top so now here is an actual example of the ones that i had did i decided to change them out because these have a little bit more adjustable and by my light sit so close to the crystals i felt like that it probably would damage or something i didn't want to do that so as you all can see it's just a curtain rod and a curtain holder that's pretty much so what i did was with the crystals it's just detached them apart from the length of them and i just draped them over i didn't do nothing different i did nothing strange or anything i just draped them over and just have them sitting on top of there so i do have this little stagger look on it and i love it because 
it just give me like a curtain or I don't know how to explain it. It's just a curtain full of crystals pretty much. And I love the way how that turned out for me. Like just something simple. So once again, these garland crystals will be linked down below. Now I have so many because I use these things a lot and I love them and these are glass. So, but I will link them down below. So once again, all I did is just loop the crystals over there. That's it. It's a curtain rod and a curtain holder. That's it. I just put it on each side of my light fixture in my bathroom just to give me a chandelier vibe look without actually paying the chandelier vibe price. All right, Queens and Kings. So all I'm doing here is just um, adjusting the crystals because when I do take them apart from the link, it does not all line up equal. And I like that because it actually give you a unique look other than it being uniform if that makes sense but here's the completed look and i just love this little pretty much curtain look of crystals it just is so beautiful so if your queens and kings enjoyed eating of these diys on this video here please like comment share and subscribe and i will talk to you all in the next one Bye bye